Hello beautiful people, how are you today? I'm so excited to talk to you about all the products that I've used in 2021. It is time to let all of these go and share with you all my opinion and all the products that I was able to finish or some of them that are not the greatest and I decided they're not worth it to be in my collection anymore. So let's talk with skin about skincare first. We're going to go through this real quick. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. I want to share with you the cleansers that I've used that I use the clean and clear one uh, morning burst which is absolutely amazing and very hydrating and very it gives you that burst of energy in the morning I absolutely love this one for the morning time and this one is from Elemis this is the superfood uh, calm cleansing foam I usually use this one used this one at night time I really did enjoy this one as well so these two are the ones that I was able to use for like cleansing purposes the toner from up and up is an amazing one this is very cheap i think this is like maybe four dollars or so and the same with this cleanser i don't think it's more than ten dollars this one is way more expensive i'm not sure exactly how much but this one is definitely way more expensive than that and then for uh taking my makeup off these are the products that i use i use more of these this year i think i've used like four of them this is my oops this is my favorite makeup remover. This is from Lancome, the Bifacial. This is absolutely amazing for sensitive skin. I never had problems with uh, for sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. I never had problems with taking my makeup off using this one. I really did enjoy it. This one is an okay product. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it was okay for removing some of the makeup. Another good makeup remover is this one from Bioderma. Very good Um and through product i really did enjoy that one the one that i absolutely hated was this one over here it destroyed my eyes it, my skin was like getting really worked up every time i used it and it never ever took my makeup off properly ever so i don't this one not my thing not my thing i didn't like that one this one is mm, mm, okay this is a from bliss makeup melt so um i used all of this out now let's go and look at the creams that i used this uh, year all right so here are the moisturizer that i used this year uh the first thing that i use is this murad hydrodynamic ultimate moisture for eyes this one is actually really nice it was able to make my very dry under eyes a little bit get a little bit more moisture than um all the other eye cream was giving me so this one i would say i did enjoy it not as much as to want to repurchase it but it was a good product for my under eyes this i absolutely love this is the calm water gel from dermalogica it's absolutely amazing especially when you have some uh, acne uh going on this one is calming your skin down and it just kind of uh helps the healing i absolutely adore that the wishful one i'm definitely surprised by this one this is the honey balm jelly moisturizer was a really nice moisturizer i would not say to i would not go as far as say this was my favorite moisturizer of the year but this was a good one it was a really good one it did uh, provide a lot of hydration and also was a little bit on the soothing side as well this is my favorite one this is from bliss drench and quench cream to water hydrator i finished a lot of these this year but i kept only two so i can show you this is is definitely one of my favorite ones and this one is not that expensive you can find this at target and another thing that i use is this one touch of what the water cream it finally started to work better for me i tried the water cream before and i didn't like it as much but this time i really did enjoy it it was so hydrating for my skin and i was using it in a time when i was a little bit more dehydrated so this one was amazing for that and then i also use this bliss glow and hydrate nice and my hyaluronic acid day serum which is kind of like a um, serum and a cream in between and this one was nice and hydrating as well and then i also had this uh soul wasu i think it is concentrated ginseng renewing cream this is absolutely amazing i really did enjoy using this one on my skin that's why i kept it so i can talk about it i am a little bit i'm not sure if i want to invest as much in this one because it's a little on the expensive side but it is a really good uh product because uh considering that i only used it a couple of times on my skin it did leave an impact on me 
and then i also used this this is from pharmacy this is the honey potion uh hydrating mask it wasn't my favorite um i would have to say it was okay but it wasn't necessarily my favorite it kind of make me break out here and there um but i used it because you can only use like a couple of times and that was it you know um i and that was another thing that i did not enjoy it was like i have to use a lot of this to be able to work and uh, when it does when i do use it i use too much i guess so i did um not enjoy that one now do, i do have a lot of serums in here and i'm just not gonna go through every single one of them because there's just too many of them i'm just gonna talk about this one that i really love from derma e this is the acne blemish control treatment serum if you do have problems with acne i would probably recommend this one it's absolutely amazing for your skin is gonna make your acne disappear faster and is also gonna prevent any acne happening another amazing product was this one from um first aid beauty the anti redness serum i would apply this one every time when i'll have a uh, really active acne on because it was helping me with the suiting and as well helping me with the redness as well and then for the serums i really did enjoy the 111 skin and i also enjoy a lot of the ordinary one i would say the my favorite one was this one the buffet and the copper peptide one plus this thing i really did not like it this is from Coralie oro the beaut beauty elixir I don't know a lot of people really did enjoy this one i am not one of them i didn't like the scent of it i didn't like how it felt on the skin it felt a little bit like um itchy i would say i did not enjoy this one there are some body lotions that i've used up are these ones from sol de janeiro i really did enjoy this one's very hydrating very nice um scent but also uh really hydrating on the skin i really did enjoy this one but i would have to say i like this one way better this one uh, helped me when i had like really itchy feet after shaving this was amazing what it's coming my uh itchiness down so fast and it was so good and this one i really enjoyed the scent of it this is versace yellow diamond uh perfume oh this is the shower gel i guess but this one uh, i also have a lotion from them i don't think i finished that one but this one it is a really nice one but i also do like the lotion one as well another thing that i have used is this one from bedhead this is really good this is the Ar urban anti-dots perfector weak brittle hair that needs intervention i guess it's a conditioner very good it made my my hair really really smooth one of my favorite uh things to use was this one for um antiperspirant i prefer to use men antiperspirant because i am very sweaty so this one definitely keeps me dry all day because that's the point for me let me tell you and i really did enjoy this one has a really nice scent to it as well and then the two uh setting spray that i use i use this one from morphe this is the luminous setting spray it wasn't not necessarily one of my favorite but i did use it because i put it in my i think it was in my um um, pan this i guess um and also another one that i used it was this one from tarte stay spray it wasn't necessarily my favorite either but the same thing i said oh you know i want to finish that one so i did finish it now i think we are ready to go into makeup let's go so i have used up five um primers and two like try-ons over here i have used the ordinary one not my favorite uh the hangover one again not my favorite the one from becca one's not not necessarily my favorite either this one was my definitely my favorite this is the ulta beauty poreless face primer i already repurchased this i think the other one is almost ready to be done as well um and also i love this one from vdl very nice uh shine to the skin and very hydrating these two are were really good as well the one from good Melicals, i was very surprised how good it was and how much i liked it and the milk hydro grip one i really did enjoy it and i bought a bigger size as well 
let's talk foundations i have a bunch of foundation that i want to talk to you about but meanwhile let me let me talk to you about this poreless body primer from elf i did not like this whatsoever i know there's a lot of people that really love this i did uh had it in uh pandas so that's why i finished that one but i did not enjoy it now let's talk about things that i did enjoy and it's this one from becca skin love um foundation absolutely adore this thing i loved it so much too bad i cannot purchase this anymore it was such an amazing finish on the skin so i did finish these as well the color pop from pretty fresh absolutely amazing i love that the pure one from um the foreign four in one love your selfie foundation from pure is really nice i do have a backup for this one the huda beauty one is a little bit on the drying side but this thing does not move all day i was able to finish it by using other stuff that was making it a little bit more natural looking because this one is also very matte um so that's why i was able to finish this one and also i finished the skin perfect hd foundation from koki as well these were are nice beautiful foundation but if i would have to choose which one i liked the most was definitely the one from becca and the second one was the ColourPop one pretty fresh foundation they i do have four of them that i haven't finished but i didn't like them so i decided to just kind of take them out of my collection there's no point in keeping them in this was the flower beauty this was too shiny for me i did not enjoy that this is the tart one found sealer i did not enjoy this one it was very hard to um blend it it would not stay on my skin not not liking that actually i did finish this one and i did enjoy it i was like thinking wait i did not like this one i remember liking this one yes so i really did enjoy this one as well and i did finish it i tried it just a little while ago just to make sure it is all done and then the one that i didn't like was this one from pretty vulgar this is a horrible foundation oh my god so bad on the skin so cakey looking um it was making me react a lot. My skin uh, get like a lot of acne on it. I just did not like this one whatsoever. So these are the foundations that I used and I discarded from my collection this year. All right, let's talk about powders. But before we talk about that, I was able to find this one as well. I did put this one in my empties. It's not empty. It's very close to being empty. I did enjoy it. The only thing is it is expired and it's starting to peel off my face now. So I cannot use it anymore. But it, it didn't have a lot left in it. I can show it to you at the end how much it was left in it. But yeah, that is that. Now for powders, I absolutely love some of these powders. Some of these powders just decided to take them out because I'm not going to use them anymore and that one is this one from maybelline i still have the one in medium this is the light medium one i used to use this one under the eyes but unfortunately my under eyes became very dry and i cannot use this one for my under eyes anymore because it makes it even more drier the one that i absolutely love is this one from veil is this one from oral gloss which is called the veil translucent setting powder i adore this powder it's so good the same with this one from revolution pro absolutely amazing the cc perfecting powder is called this one from uh tarte the the shape tape it powder is not too bad it's okay-ish the juice beauty was mm -mm. So, so, I was not necessarily very in love with it, but the one that I absolutely love is what this one from Wall Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. Amazing powder. I also found this one from Becca. This is the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. The same thing happened. I was using it and my eyes was getting drier, so I did not enjoy that one either. And then two bronzers that I did was able to finish was the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, which is in a mini size, and then also the Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer. I did enjoy both of them equally i also have a bunch of mascaras in here as you can see i have finished a lot of mascaras i would have to say the one that i enjoyed the most was the mark jacobs one and the one from kkw the one that i enjoyed the least was this one from 
um, Wonder Beauty Mile High Club and the ABH one and also the one from Too Faced. I did not like the damn girl whatsoever. And then the brow liner. I did not save all the brow ones that I've used, but I've saved a couple of them. The next one, Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. This is a really nice one. I did enjoy it, but I would say the one that I love the most is this one from uh, uh, Benefit. This is the Brow Contour Pro because it has four things. And what I like the most is the definer. If I go over it, uh, the line, I can go with the definer and you cannot see anything when I use that on top. It looks like my skin. It's so easy to clean and fix mistakes when it, when it comes to brows. The one from Revolution Pro was okay. It wasn't necessarily my favorite either. And then I do have this concealer that I did not like. This one I haven't used at all. This is from Urban Decay. It was not my favorite at all. And then this one from KKW I did enjoy it was okay uh concealer this one i absolutely hated this is from uh, fenty beauty this is the pro filter eye primer i really did not enjoy that one the eyeliner is this one from uh, sexy booster it was my favorite from physicians formula and then i have one from um uh, private society which i really did enjoy as well and then the lip products that i uh used was this one that I absolutely adore from Burst Bees. This is the, what is it, Flavor Crystal Lip Balm. Insanely beautiful and so good for the lips. And I also finished this lipstick from Fenty Beauty. My very first lipstick that I finished. This is a mini one. It is in the shade Thick. And this one I did not finish. This is from Ulta Beauty, but it smells really bad, so I had to take them take it out as well so pretty much this is what i have in um in my trash this year this is what i used this is how much stuff i used up there's so many others that i did big make a big dent in them but i have not finished them yet so here's what i have for you today this is all i have thank you so so much for watching and tell me what is your favorite product that you finished in 2021 thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you all next time have a nice one bye